get 15 plump, juicy pieces of chicken for just $10.99. Hot deal, it's finger licking good in the summertime. A full 15 piece bucket, just $10.99. 15 pieces of chicken done right. 15 pieces at a hot deal price. Just $10.99 right now. Hot deal, good chicken for our chicken. We do chicken right. Will you see someone you know on Wheel of Fortune? Deborah yes. London from Landover, Maryland. Yes. Laugh at Pat Sajak's jokes. Welcome back to Wheel of Fortune. I'm Candace Bergen. Be dazzled by Vanna's glamour. Take a chance and play along. Like to buy another vowel? Okay. Can you solve the puzzle? Charlie yeah. Chaplin. It's a gem of a show. Wheel of Fortune! Happy July 4th, from the one and only Channel 9. <clears throat> what are you trying to do? Stand up the bride? It's not that late. Well, it will if you don't get a move on. Ta-da! <laughs> Enter, bridegroom. You come over here. Look My, at this. Your tie is all crooked. I keep slipping. Well, you can't just straighten. You've got to tighten it so it stays straightened. She's so smart. I know. You look very handsome. You're not just saying that, are you? Are you kidding? When do I give you compliments lightly? <laughs> Never. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you never give me any compliments at all. Does it have to be that tight? Yes, we don't want it coming loose during the ceremony. But I can't breathe. Can't breathe? Oh. No. Nerves. Relax. It's not nerves. I am relaxed. Ah. If I were any more laid back, I wouldn't have a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 right. Not nervous at all. Maybe just a little. <laughs> my Listen. You know that I've always wanted what was best for you, right? Yeah. Good. Because I want you to know that I mean it when I say I hope you will be very happy. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get going. Uh, wait, 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 wait just a second. What about you? Do you know what's best for you? I got my hand full here, sort of. But did you get it? What? The hamburger meat. I haven't started uh, bringing that, that stuff out yet. Did you get it? You mean buy it? Well, I didn't mean steal it. Well, you buy the hamburger meat. You bought the hamburger meat last year? Yes, but last year I didn't have a wedding to, to prepare. I mean, didn't you even think about it? You are the one who is in charge of the hamburger. I'm in charge of the final product. I'm not in charge of buying the meat. You are in charge of buying the meat. Can't you find something to do? I, I was going to open the door for Uncle Ed, that's... Well, Uncle Ed can open the door for himself because he's going to put everything down and go to the store and get some chopped meat or we won't have any hamburger. Terrific. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Let me get the door? Well, thank you so much, son. It doesn't seem like I'm going anyplace, though. So... You going to stay in there? Hmm. Rick. No. What are you doing, trying to ruin the wedding? I have to get on with my life. Johnny?
guiding light. This portion is presented by Tide. On some of your toughest laundry problems, Tide won't quit till your clothes come clean. And by Crisco Shortening, bring them home to Crisco Home Cooking. I'll take care of it. I should never have borrowed my mother's dress. She'll never know. Yeah, except for the huge mustard stain. I had to beg her to let me wear it. Just tell her I did it. Are you sure you know what you're doing? My mom uses this all the time. Trust me. Uh-oh, it's kind of still there. It, it didn't come out? You said this would work. Hey, it's my mother's detergent. Bummer trace. What am I going to tell my mother? You're home early. What's wrong? Oh, my dress. It wasn't my fault. We tried to wash it. Tracy, once it's been through the dryer, it's set in. Let Tide take over. Because when some other detergents leave behind some really tough stains, Tide can get them clean. Hey, party animal. Stains out. Great. Can I wear it? <laughs> no. When it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Come on in to the freshness of sunshine. Sunrins Fresh, new from Downey. Come on in to Sunrins Fresh. A light Downey feeling, fresh and sunny Downey feeling. Now a light new freshness rinsed all through, like hanging your wash in the sunshine. New Sunrins Downey with the fluffiest softness. Come on in, it's Sunrins Fresh. Downey feeling, sunny feeling. Downey, April Fresh and light new Sunrins Fresh too. Come on in. Some things you can always count on. Billy always playing, and Mom always knowing her Crisco fried chicken Crispy. will bring him home. Listen. Crispy. That's the sound of Crisco home cooking. Crispy. Not greasy. Crisco. As sure as Billy's game. Great chicken, Mom. Never being over till it's over. Bring them home to Crisco home cooking. Tuesday. Doctor says you can't work anymore. It was the only way to keep her family off welfare. You actually want to join the army. But did she have what it took? You can do it. You can really do it. I'm 32 years old. For Joseph Bologna and Patty Duke, a fight to survive becomes a time to triumph. Tuesday. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are, you, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I wanted to tell you about yesterday, when we saw Roxy. Oh. Uh, how is she? Well, first, I, I want to tell you that we're, we're sorry we didn't call you and oh, consult you. About what? Well, the doctors were right, and, and Mama and Pop have given their consent. She does need special treatment, and uh, so she's going to go to Switzerland to get it. Are you sure? Yeah. She's not getting any better, Johnny. I see. Uh, so when does she go? The end of the week. This is going to give her a chance, you know? Oh, she, no, sure. It's... It's just that she, she sits there and, and, and she sings to herself. <laughs> and in Switzerland, they, they've got this, this drug that, uh, that they haven't approved yet in the States. And they're also using some new kind of therapy that's, that, well, that's been getting some pretty positive results. So the doctors all agreed that, that she should go, that it would give her the best chance. for me to do would me to take my own advice. How could you even think of dressing like that? I always dress this way at the barbecue. You know, what? the Bauer men are some of the most undependable lugs I have lugs. ever known. Lugs? Now we're lugs? Come on, Alan Michael. Why, you pick why this stuff am I up? a lug? Yeah, this is a barbecue. Right. I'm flipping hamburgers. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I thought you'd say something like that. That's why I had your sports jacket cleaned. 
My sports jacket. It's hanging in the hall closet. You don't expect. Well, well, you don't expect me to wear a sports jacket to barbecue. Ellen, Michael, you want to tell me what's going on here? Uh, I don't know. I'm just helping Uncle Ed here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. Chelsea, you want to tell me what's going on? Probably not. Oh, don't encourage him. What are you talking about? What's going on? Do you want to know what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have liked you. That would help. Wait a minute. You're not wearing this today. To what, the what's with my you? clothes today? <laughs> they are casual, casual clothes. Green, I really appreciate you getting my suit, my sports jacket clean, but you don't expect me to wear it today. <laughs> Do you? I'm wearing one. Do you hear that? Well, he's, he's the best man. He's got to wear one. Oh, yes, and the usher will wear a Hawaiian shirt and Bermuda shorts. Usher? Who's an usher? Did Meredith tell you? <laughs> yeah, didn't Meredith tell you? <laughs> I guess Meredith forgot to tell him, girls. <laughs> Fletcher. Look, why don't you just come over here and sit down? We are going to be late. Do as you're told. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, if anybody asked me, I would have to say that today is one of the happiest days of my life. Because you're marrying Maeve. Yes. And I want your blessing. I know that I've already got that. But I want you to be happy. In your own way, for yourself, in your own life, not just for me. Will you not worry about me? Sometimes I do. Well, look, I am getting along just fine, all right? <laughs> you know, working with Maeve helped. What? Well, I mean, it, working together, it helped bring us together. It gave me the opportunity to really experience the things that she really was feeling and her desires. And you're kind of lucky because you sort of have the same situation. I don't know how. You and Rick, come on, you got the same situation. You work together. Oh, yeah, well, uh, not at the same hospital at least. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm getting married, me. And here's something else about that. Mm. You may be next. Uh, I think we better get going. People think you're not going to want to go through with this. Come on. Yeah. I mean, once I start to put that ring on her... The ring! Oh, my God. The ring! I put it in his pocket. I know I put it in his pocket. I distinctly remember putting Fletcher, it in his pocket. Fletcher! What? You gave me the ring because you didn't want to panic and forget where you would put it. Here it is. I knew that. That was just a test. That's exactly what it was. I just wanted to see if you remembered. Right, because you're not nervous at not all. Not a bit. <laughs> not at all. Come on, rubber knees. It's time to go. Uh, uh, uh. What? No. Yes. All right. Mm. Tis a far, far better oh, thing I do just, than I've ever done on, before. Tis a far, far greater good. Come in. Oh, what have I done? Hi, happy fourth. Hi, Ross. Come on in. Nice surprise. What is all this? Come on in. See if you can make yourself comfortable, if that's possible. No, it's okay. It's okay. Ow. Sorry. Nice mess, huh? Yes. You moving? <laughs> I got the furniture guys coming at the end of the week. I'm just packing up some of my personal stuff. Where are you going? Over here. I mean, where are you moving? Oh, uh, the uh, company penthouse. Oh, my. Very nice, very nice. Quite a change. Yeah. Lighthouse to penthouse. Yeah. Well, life has changed. Isn't that what they say? Among other things, yeah. You're not going to be doing this all day, are you? Not if you can give me something better to do. Is there something we need to work on? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the barbecue. Barbecue. Are you new in town? The Bauer Barbecue. I know the Bauer Barbecue. 
Uh, I didn't get an invitation. <laughs> you didn't need an invitation for this? Come on, you've been going there since you were a kid. I know. What makes you think you need an invitation this year? I just think, under the circumstances, it might be better. Look, this is not the year to miss it. Why? Wow, Maeve that? and Fletch are getting married. At the barbecue? <laughs> yeah, at the barbecue. Well, isn't that something? Well, it sure is. Well, I guess I've been so busy I didn't hear the news. Yes, well, it was rather short notice for everybody. It was just a couple of days. Yeah. Well, give my best. You could do that in person. No, I got too much to do. I think this could take longer than I thought. Look, Yankee Doodle, your uncle, I am going to be giving away Maeve. At least I'll be walking her down. The You're aisle. giving Maeve away? Yeah. Isn't that a little uh, odd? Yeah. Perhaps. But Maeve and I dated. We became rather close. And you know, she asked me, I said I'd be delighted. And I'd like it very much if my nephew were there to watch. What do you say? Oh, yeah, I think it's great for Maeve and Fletcher. That wasn't the question. What was the question? What is wrong with you, man? Nothing. Something has you preoccupied. I'm moving. I got a million things on my mind. What? OK, if you say so. Did you come here for some particular reason? Is there something that Look, you need? I came here to ask you if you're going to this barbecue. Oh, okay. All right, well, I, you know, I got my hands full. Yeah, you got a lot of work to do. I have to get over to the bars. OK. Tell everybody I said hi. Yes, I will. Give Maven Fletcher my best. Okay. Bye. I believe in breastfeeding my baby, but I know I can't always breastfeed, so I believe in the Playtex nurser. Because it's a nursing method most like breastfeeding. See, the collapsible bottle and natural-shaped nipple mean less air in Jamie's tummy, less gas, less spitting up, and better than glass bottles, they're pre-sterilized. Disposable. You can believe in the Playtex nurser. It's most like breastfeeding. And also try new Playtex disposable bibs. Easier for you, great for baby. I was betrayed by the cute one. I thought we had something going, but it didn't last long enough. Well, now I've got a new roommate. This one's more than just cute. This roommate will be around a long time. Meet his roommate. Renews it roommate air freshener with more freshening liquid so it freshens air longer than magic mushroom. This roommate's more than just cute. This roommate really lasts. Renews it roommate, the air freshener that freshens air longer. Now the shower freshness of Summer's Eve Feminine Wash is at your fingertips. Introducing Summer's Eve Feminine Wash Intimate Cleansing Mist. Use it when you want to feel especially fresh, anytime, anyplace. Summer's Eve Feminine Wash Intimate Cleansing Mist. Smelly, rotten mildew stains? Try one, two, three sprays of Tylex against one spray of X14. In minutes, the X14 side is dramatically cleaner without scrubbing. X14, it's better. I'm here to talk about something I normally wouldn't. Dog food. Hey, do you mind? Specifically, new Grand Gourmet. Grand Gourmet is dog food that looks like people food. See for yourself. No, not you. Beefy strips, savory sauce. You know, I'll tell you, this looks a lot better than what I had for dinner last night. Go ahead, don't be bashful. You want a beverage? New Grand Gourmet. People food for dogs. Hey, what do you say we go bowling after this? I'm almost ready. Oh, I of think. course you are. And look at you. Don't you look handsome? <laughs> Aren't you going to be the most handsome ring bearer? You want this? Come with me. I'm going to show you where Michelle's You should have seen him preening in front of the mirror. You couldn't believe it. You want to come see where Michelle's <laughs> playing, playing, Michelle? A bear was teasing us. A bear was teasing us. A bear was teasing us. Oh, no. <laughs> Alan Michael. Alan Michael. Where have you been? I thought you were going to help me load the ice chest. I've been here. And you're going to help me load the soft drinks into the car. Well, yeah, I thought so, too, but well, you told me to wait here, so I did. Do you, do you want me to load it now? No, thanks. Thanks very much. It's already taken care of. Oh, oh what do we have here? A bride-to-be? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, I guess so. Come on, aren't you a little bit excited? Ed, 
I'm nervous. She's nervous, Ed. Don't tease her. I'm not teasing her. What's to be nervous about? Everything's gonna go like clockwork. My mother's plane has been delayed. She might not make it to the wedding. Uh-oh. That's why I brought Ben over here now, because I'm afraid, you know, I don't want anything else to go wrong. Nothing else will go wrong. Well, I just hope my mother's not making, maybe not making it. It's not going to be a bad Bite omen for the whole... Bite your tongue now. Let's get you up to... Oh, the... oh here comes the other half. Oh, no, no, no. Let's here comes the other... Come on in. Come on in. Hi, Ed. Thanks. Come on. Fletcher, what do you say? A little bit nervous? Huh? Nope. Yeah, and he also wants you to believe in the tooth fairy. Uh -huh. <laughs> and don't forget the hamburger meat. Oh, right on top of it. I Sweetness. love coming to this kitchen. This is the way a family's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Speaking of family, where's Rick? Uh, Rick had a wardrobe problem. He'll be here soon. Oh. Do, uh, do, do you want me to get this? Hold it. What would you say? Well, I'd start with hello. Oh, ah come on. <laughs> I can say that. Hello? Are you the answer to my prayers? Oh. Maureen is going to kill me. You have got to get on with your life. I'm trying to be as blunt as I can. And I don't want to sound cruel, and God knows I love her too. But nobody... Nobody seems to know when Roxy's going to get well again. I know. So you've got to go on. I know that's what I need to do. It is. It is, definitely. I just, I just have to... I have to keep a positive attitude and live the life that I've been given. That's right. And uh, just take it, no matter how hard it is. That's right. And in order to do that, you've got to make some changes. You have been ignoring your health. You've been ignoring your work. A little, I guess, yes, yeah. Yes, you have. The first time I saw you alive, I mean really alive, since your recovery was in Mexico. And that is because you had something else to think about. Do you see what I mean? Yes. And you see that I'm right? Yes. Doesn't mean it's gonna be easy, but yes, you're right. I'm glad you understand. And I'm glad that you understand why we had to send mm, Roxy. Of course I do. Thank you for coming over to explain. You're welcome. Well, I gotta go get ready for a wedding. Wedding? Oh, holy cats. I was supposed to practice singing with Chelsea. Well, then I suggest you get your singing clothes on and get your butt over there. <laughs> what, 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 you're going? Yeah. Well, I'm just surprised after oh, everything listen, that's happened. I know. Fletcher is a very good friend of mine, and there was a time in my life when... Well, let's just say that he made me see some values in life. I just feel like I owe him a few. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Who would have thought a wedding in the middle of a barbecue? <laughs> This must be causing you plenty of headaches. No, no, no. Don't be silly. I mean, everything just looks like it's completely hectic, actually. It's supposed to be that way. If you say so. Yeah. Okay, now, give me the other hand. I hope my mother makes it. Don't worry. If her plane lands before the ceremony, we will get her here. I hope she's calmed down. Will you stop worrying? Uh, this is going to be the most wonderful day of your life. <laughs> Lean on Maureen. You are wonderful. <laughs> I just want you to be happy. I am. Guaranteed. <sighs> Fletcher makes me so happy, and he's so good with Ben. Yeah, I know. And Ben really loves him, too. You mm -hmm. can see it. He does. <laughs> Fletcher loves you. Maybe even more than you know. What do you mean? Oh, just... Commitment is such a big thing. Especially for him. I know. I think that's what makes this day so special. Not to mention the maneuvers that you've pulled along the way to get us back together well, here. Sometimes I have to revert to the be reared technique. <laughs> oh, Maureen, I have never had as much fun with anyone in my whole life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good. Now, wait. Wait, we're almost finished. Uh-huh. I think... I think we are finished now. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're the best friend I've ever had in my whole life. I mean oh. that. Oh, now don't cry. Don't cry. Watch the nails. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, you're about to marry a wonderful man. All of your friends are downstairs, and... I know it. I just can't help it. Oh, wait. Well, here. Wait a minute. Let me get these tears off here. Oh, oh I'm God. sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Now blow, blow. Oh, I forgot. Oh. What? Oh, oh, I what? forgot this terrible... Maureen! <laughs> My new tub made of fiberglass was installed by men made mostly of dirt. Using a liquid cleanser? I guess I have to. Bet you'd like to use Comet. I love to use Comet. But see this label? Mm -hmm. Abrasives may scratch. But this label says safe as a liquid. I wouldn't bet on it. I would. Today's Comet has no harsh abrasives, so it's safe, it's tough. It's beautiful. Today's Comet, regular or lemon fresh. Safe as a liquid, tough as Comet. Did you put a little of this in your hair this morning? No, what is it? The oil, the wax, the fatty ingredients in some shampoos and conditioners. Ugh. Over time, this is what leaves a heavy buildup. I don't want that in my hair. But Ivory's different, pure. It cleans and conditions without a lot of the stuff that leaves heavy buildup. Ivory cleans gently and thoroughly. Ivory shampoo and conditioner leave your hair feeling ivory clean. Nothing but ivory clean. Just give me honest work at honest pay Honest sweat from honest play And when I'm through, that's when I'll say I want my clean as real as I breathe It's gotta be 99.44 I want my clean as real as I breathe Nothing less, nothing more If you're looking for the real clean you can only get from a pure soap You want ivory It's gotta be pure, that's for sure I want my clean as real as I breathe We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Family. So mom has to go to your funeral to find out you were a good guy? Honor. Danny Tessio was clean, and if he was dirty, I'd know, and I'd know who made him dirty. Maybe you dirty him. Country. You do your job, Benny. I can't. I'm locked up. Ken Wall stars in this summer's sizzling hit, Wise Guy, Wednesday. This is CBS. It's a lot like having 250 people over to the house. You're nervous. You want them all to have a good time. That's very much like what we do every day of the week. Down here, weekdays at 9 on the one and only Channel 9. When it's my eyes... I don't compromise. Eye Exam 2000, one of the most thorough eye exams available. Independent doctors of optometry using state-of-the-art equipment give you every check and test necessary for thorough, accurate prescriptions. Eye Exam 2000, now that's thorough. Eye Exam 2000, next to Lens Crafters. 11 Baltimore and D.C. locations. Call 1-800-522-LENS for the store near you. One, two, three... Double dip, double dip, 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 a double dip, a double dip, double dip, 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 a double dip. Well, we're here to tell you about a new ice cream bar. Double dipped in rich chocolate, gonna be a big star. Let your creamy ice cream, the words on the street, that three musketeers taste can't be beat. New three musketeers ice cream bars now appearing in a freezer near you. Three musketeers. An exclusive interview with D.C. School Board's controversial Calvin Lockridge, Monday. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Comet. For your modern surfaces, today's Comet. As safe as a liquid, as tough as Comet. And by Ivory, clean the way it ought to be. Nice and cool in here. Yeah, well, we got the freezer door open. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't believe there wasn't any chop meat at company. Well, there were a couple of pounds, but Hawk said he needed them all. Well, so why didn't he just close down for the holiday? I didn't even bother to ask. He was in such a lousy mood. He uh, practically chewed my ear off uh, when I asked him about it. So where'd you buy it? We didn't. What? We went to the Ultra Mart, but they were closed. What about that 24-hour place? Oh, the one out on 77? Yeah. They were closed, too. So we went to Grumman's Deli, and they had one last package. 
This is barely enough to make eight patties. Well, now, don't get testy. You're the one who forgot to get the meat in the first place. It's mm -hmm. not my job. Uh, my job is cooking the meat. It's Maureen's job to buy it. Maureen is handling a wedding. Oh, hey, you guys. Hey, hey Chelsea. How are you, oh, darling? Look mm -hmm. Beautiful. Where's Johnny? Did he come in with you all? Have uh, you seen him? No, I haven't seen him yet. Why? Well, I was supposed to sing at the wedding, and I tried to call him last night. Couldn't get a hold of him. I... Oh. I hope nothing's the matter. Hey, 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 now don't start that. He's okay. Oh, I'm sure everything's okay. We just wanted to rehearse. Oh, you look so pretty. Thank you. Have you seen the wedding cake? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Oh, goodness. Look at that. I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. Um, Uncle Lenny. No, not listen. now. Not now. I'm thinking. <clears throat> well, hey, looks like you changed. Yeah, no problem. I don't know how you deal. What? I mean, cope. This place is like a zoo. I never, I never know where I'm supposed to be or where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. You want to know what it is? Oh, you're going to tell me. Part of being a bower. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot the yogurt container. <gasps> what happened to my freezer? Uh, we were just looking in there for some, um, the, the extra chopped meat. Did you find my yogurt container? Um, wait. That one? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, how much do we have? Uh, how much what? what? Hamburger. Uh, so we, uh, we have this. This? I don't believe this. What are you gonna do? Recreate the miracle of the loaves and fishes? <laughs> honey, honey. Feed the multitudes with three pounds of chopped meat? It'll all work out. You'll see. <laughs> Oh, hey. Hello, everybody. How are you, How you doing? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Oh, good to <laughs> see you. you I too. haven't seen you but once since you came back from Mexico. Oh, wait. Hey, you've got to start stopping around more often. Okay, yeah. I will. So where were you last night? I tried to get in touch with you. Oh, I uh, took the plane up. Alan Michael, did you get it? Well, here are your keys. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, the Ultramart was closed, and Grumman's Deli just sold its last hamburger to some crazy lady who said it was a matter of life and death, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Ed, you better do something. I'm going back upstairs to be with Maeve. Alan Michael, enter the door. Am I presentable now? Perfect. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Can I, can I ask you just a small question? Sure. How come you didn't tell me I was going to be an usher today? <clears throat> Ah, uh, you didn't give me the chance? Okay, then it's my fault. Well, the uh, florist just delivered these. Oh, good. Let me take these two here and put the other one over there, would you please? Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Look, um, let's just forget about our problems for the day, okay? What? I think it's important to make sure that this is the happiest day for Fletcher and May, and we can possibly make it. Meredith, is it really you? <laughs> This is so wonderful. Both of you, Michelle, you look beautiful. And Ben, <laughs> you look beautiful too. Come here, let me talk to you for a second. Ben? What? We're gonna have a wonderful life together, you know that? Hmm? We're gonna do wonderful things, lots of things. We're gonna do things like, oh, we'll, we'll play football in the park lots of times together. And then you'll grow up and you'll become a star of the football team. And I'll grow up and watch you from the football stands. And I'll watch you when you dash 99 yards to score the winning touchdown for the home team. And I'll be so proud. I'm going to take care of you forever and always. Because I love you. And you know who else I love? I love your mama, too. <laughs> It's nice that we agree on all the important things, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you two look great together. I heard there was another wedding going on in here. It sure was another wedding going on here. It was quite a beautiful little thing to rival Charles and Di. Oh, you look beautiful, sweet stuff. Yeah. Listen, why don't you take Ben and see if you can find your Aunt Chelsea? I think they're up in the uh, bedroom. Okay. Okay. I'll take Come. these two. You okay. want to take them? Okay, sure. you take them and show them upstairs. Have fun. Yeah, so frogs and bunnies are neat. Bunnies are great. Now go on to the bedroom. I just love these. <laughs> oh, man. 
Well, so listen, it's quite an honor being uh, picked as your best man. Well, that's because I'm selfish. I figured having three bowers at my wedding would guarantee a happy marriage. Oh, that's it, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <clears throat> well, in case you've forgotten, Doc, the Fletcher Reed was officially welcomed several years ago to Springfield at an official bower barbecue. I figured, dare I get married at one? Well, oh, that's right, that's right. It was mm -hmm. right after Mom's operation. That's right, too. Boy, I remember Bert. Man, who could forget her? So vibrant, so vital. Yeah, she's quite a woman. Oh, you can say that again. You know what I think I liked best about her was the way she made people feel. I mean, she never asked any questions. She never passed any judgments. She would just say, come in, sit down, and welcome. I really liked that. Yeah. Yeah. Fletcher. Yeah, listen, uh, I know. I know what you're thinking, I know what you want to say, but let's just leave the past in our past, okay? Okay, I just want you to know that I really appreciate the fact that we have remained friends, and it is a hoot <laughs> being your best man. Well, thank you, that's the way I wanted it. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Do you know what a dope I've been, huh? I mean, all these... Months, going on years, I guess. I mean, letting all these things come between Maeve and me. It's... But she hung in there, and I'm really glad. I'm glad, too. I'm lucky, too. I mean, because I am the guy who has spent his entire life pushing people away who have wanted to care about him. I've always done that. But she really, really hung in there with me. It's going to be a good wedding. I wonder what she's wearing. No, 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 no. Come on. Traditionally, uh, you're not supposed to find that out until the ceremony. Eddie. Fletcher. Eddie. <laughs> Fletcher. Come on. Where's your spirit of adventure? <laughs> Come on. Follow me. <laughs> Sorry I took so long. I got waylaid by Ben and Michelle. They wanted me to be matron of honor at their wedding, too. <laughs> was the bride beautiful? Yes, and the groom was handsome, and the mother of the bride cried. And she brought yogurt. Oh, oh, this. <laughs> well, actually, what this is, is something borrowed. Oh, Maureen, they're beautiful. <sighs> My Aunt Molly gave them to me, and her grandmother gave them to her, who, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you. Will you help me put them on? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Landshark. Oh. Oh, Fletcher, what are you doing? Here's no. the delivery. No, no. Come on, I just want to have a peek at the no. bride. Fletcher, go away. Fletcher, one no, little peek, stop. okay? No, no, no. Come on, what? No, what? You can't come in. What do you say, can't come on? One little. You. Come on, I you want... encouraged Wait, him? I... I have never killed before I... today, but there's you... always a first time. No, Fletcher. Come on, no. come on. One little peek. No. It won't, Maureen. No, stop. Maureen, it won't hurt. What's stop. All right, all right, okay. Okay, fine, fine. I can be a gentleman if you can't be a lady. <sighs> one little peek from Ben. Let him see his mama, please. Okay, but no tricks. Okay. Just Ben. Yeah, come on in here. Give it to your mom. Oh. Hi, honey. Let's see. What's it say? It says... Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> There's never been a roach killer like this before. Who could have done it? A formula so far advanced. You know who. New formula raid ant and roach killer kills bugs dead like never before. It's the fastest you can buy. And no spray lasts longer, up to four long months. Longer than summer? New raid ant and roach killer. Nobody kills as fast and as long. Nobody does it deader. In response to our challenge, people attempted to stain new wear-dated carpet with stain blocker in some very imaginative ways. Of course, they didn't have much luck, but they sure had fun trying. A woman can learn a lot just by watching other women. A lot of ways to use Johnson's baby oil. For shaving. Softening. As an eye makeup remover. Hmm. So where will you use Johnson's baby oil? Everywhere I want to feel beautiful. 
Johnson's Baby Oil from Johnson & Johnson. And now, a new look, a new feel, light and creamy. It's new Johnson's Baby Oil Mousse from Johnson & Johnson. If you're one of the thousands of people who asked for a free sample of Wear Dated Carpet with Stain Blocker and tried it, you'll probably like to know what steps to take to buy it. Wear Dated, please. So call for the dealer near you and ask for it. Perfect choice. <sighs> with a smell like that, uh, he doesn't have a chance. <sighs> Escape from dirt and odors with Lemon Fresh Dash. Its lemon freshening power dashes out some of the toughest odors and dashes in freshness. Howdy, boys. Lose something? Uh, it's not him. Maybe over there. Dash out odors. Dash in freshness. Uh, down, down. Alan I don't know what I would do for amusement if I didn't have you. I'm sorry. Don't worry, because I feel the same way about you, Uncle. Yeah, I bet. Well, why are you two being so mean to each other? Oh, this is nothing. You should say breakfast at our place. I really don't think I want to. Hey, guys. Hey, Hello, Michael. What's going on? Well, I was just getting ready to put some soda away. You want one? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> help me put them away, and then I'll give you first choice. All right, guys, have a good Tom Sawyer. Yeah, right, I'll help you put them away, but what about the Bauer burgers? When are they going to be ready? <laughs> <laughs> Take that. We got to talk, all right? No, not now. You all brought presents for me, right? Huh? You got lots of presents? <laughs> Scoop, I'm glad you could make it. Has anybody seen Rick? Oh, I have. Lillian. What up? <laughs> you look so beautiful. How did you get stuck with the food duty? Oh, actually, I was here early to keep an eye on you. Oh, please, please keep an eye on me. <laughs> Fletcher, Fletcher, how are you? Well, I'm glad now that you're here. I'll tell you that, Jenny, too. Thank you. You look terrific. Yeah, I do, don't I? Yes, you do. But it's a big day. A big day. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Well, I wouldn't have missed it. You look beautiful. Oh, my good man, do you know where the blushing bride is? Well, the last time I heard her dulcet tones, she was yelling about feeding me to the sharks. What? Well, that's rather odd, unless you've done something incredibly stupid, like trying to get a peek at the bride. I swear I'm mm -hmm. innocent. Dr. Ed forced me to stop by the room to see if they wanted pizza. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In her gown? Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, Henry. Remember, Beth? You busy? It's a lousy job, washing greasy pans. Guess who's stuck tonight? But I got this Dawn stuff. All I know is, I squirt it on, Dawn gets in there. Look, grease is gone. I'm gone. Dawn takes grease out of your way. Good morning. Day's looking new and bright. It's Monday again. And you're gonna start it right. Traffic's tied up. Cause there's folders for you. That's decaffeinated too. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Mornings brighten with mountain grown Folgers decaffeinated. Mountain grown coffee beans have a more enticing aroma. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Decaffeinated. <laughs> has no inks. It has no perfumes. It's all bounce. Bounce Free is here.
My new tango student. Attractive. I moved in for a closer look. Shall we begin? That was a mistake. His breath. Is there something wrong? I felt trapped. There was no place to hide. Excuse me. You're excused. How could I forget my scope? Bad breath germs pulverized. Okay. Where is she? Oh, no. Ready to tango? Oh, yes. What a difference. For a positive reaction, the power of scope is the one. Two, three. Good afternoon from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini called today for a full-fledged war against the United States because of yesterday's U.S. downing of an Iranian airliner in which all 290 aboard died. President Reagan says threats from Iran are, in his words, something you have to think about. He continued to defend what the U.S. did yesterday, saying the shooting was an understandable accident. Now this. Instead of waiting and waiting for your allergy medicine to work, try new Alleract. Its antihistamine gives you more relief faster from the cause of runny nose and sneezing than any you can buy. For more relief faster, now there's Alleract. It's hot and dry in the nation's farm belt on this 4th of July, and forecasters warn of dangerous heat for the next several days, with no let up in the drought. I'm Richard Schlesinger, CBS News, New York. More later on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Sure, sure. We'll see you later. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. I understand this was your idea. The wedding, yes, the wedding was my idea. However, the barbecue was your lovely daughter's daring idea, and I couldn't say no to her. I never could, could I? No, no. The last time we met when you couldn't speak, I yeah. learned better than that. I am so happy that you finally convinced me to met. So am I. So am I, and I'm glad that you're glad. <laughs> Meredith, excuse me, I want to introduce oh, you to someone. Meredith, yes, I'd like to introduce you to Maeve's mother, Mrs. Oh, Julia Stoddard. Nice to meet Julia, you. Julia, my sister, doctor. doctor. <laughs> Meredith Reed. So good to meet it's you. It's nice to meet you, yes, too. Yeah. Yes. I'm glad you two finally got a chance yes, to meet. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Hi, Hi. 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 Oh, excuse me. I oh, need sure. to talk Mrs. to your room. Come talk to me. I'll I'll introduce we're gonna you later. Yes. Thank oh, you. What? The bride Fletcher now. The bride is here. <laughs> but if but, I catch you anywhere near her, <laughs> I have a um, Yeah, I'll bet you do. All right, all right, fine. I promise. I swear on no peeking. Honest. Good. You should see them. He's going to make the cutest ring bear you have ever seen. And Michelle. Chelsea and Johnny are showing them both what to do for the ceremony that's Reverend yes i know Averyman. who it is excuse me right. reverend averyman oh hello marie hello i'm so glad you're here alan michael yes alan michael i'd like you to meet reverend averyman alan, alan michael Michael's nice Baldwin. to meet you Hi. uh this is uh, harley cooper Hi. hello Hi, harley. uh would you show reverend averyman the gazebo so that he can get things set up sure great it's, uh, it's right this thank way you. Thank, you. thank you what darling hello Oh, yeah. certainly. It was a pleasure talking to you. Bye-bye. I haven't had a chance to t say one word well, to you. I don't I mean. wonder why. My goodness, I mean, this place is crazy today. Yes, yes. Oh, oh you know what I forgot? Give me a favor. My brother gave this to me. <laughs> Could you please give it to Ed so yes. Fletcher doesn't, like, lose his mind in the ceremony? I think this is a very good, good idea. idea. I'll yes. see you later, okay? Bye. Bye. Come on. Come on. This is the darndest thing I've seen in years. Oh. Wedding at a barbecue. Maybe it'll start a trend. What do you think? Somehow I don't see it, Josh. <laughs> I guess we better start looking for seats, huh? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hey! Here's the got beef, 40 pounds. Oh, oh yeah, great. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Listen, I'm gonna go usher, okay? You got it? I got it. Don't worry, I'll okay. take care of this. Mindy! Hi! Hi, Chris. stranger. How you doing? Fine. How are you? Hi, Frank. Right. It's good to see you. You, uh, friends of the bride or groom? What? Oh! All right. Which side? Pick a side. Um, how about there? You got it. Good. Come on, soft and dry. 
Soft and dry solid has a pretty new look, and it works better than the leading solid. This is simply delicious chocolate fudge. Mmm. As corruptingly creamy and decadent as it is, I have an iota of remorse because it's Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers' new grand collection of nine creamy flavors. Only the taste is sinful. Did you see the color of her dress? No, but I saw Bruce from McGillicuddy kissing you on the lip. <gasps> Mary Beth, does this mean you're going steady? Remember when the best things in life were sweet, pure, and natural? One still is. Sugar. Hey, Mansfields, don't treat that kitten like a full-grown cat. Pack 419, you're treating that kitten like a full-grown cat. Jeannie Bruce, are you treating your kitten like a full-grown cat? No. Cat food is for cats. My kitten gets kitten food. Purina Kitten Chow brand kitten food. See, I know kittens need extra nutrition, and Purina Kitten Chow has it. Good for you, Jeannie Bruce. No, it's good for her. Don't treat your kitten like a full-grown cat. Give her kitten chow. I used to think it took a long time to get rich. The Publishers Clearinghouse made me a millionaire, just like that. Now, Publishers Clearinghouse is searching for another winner of $10 million. Wow, that's rich. I'll say you could win that $10 million. And if you enter fast enough, you could win a whole other million dollars this August 11th. So watch for this house and enter now. In just a month, you could be saying... Thanks, Thanks a million, million Publishers, Publishers Clearinghouse. Clearing Hello. Glad you could make it. So am I. I'm glad you called me. I thought we could use the holiday to get a head start on business. Sure. <laughs> I took the liberty of ordering you a drink. Ah, oh, Philip. Thank you. Shall we get a table?
wool light to care for your sweaters? Wouldn't you love to get that same wool light care for your rugs and for your chairs? Well, try wool light deep cleaning rug cleaner and wool light upholstery cleaner. Trust wool light care for rugs and chairs. Captain, this itchy rash is driving me crazy. Why didn't you use the Cord Aid? Cord Aid goes beneath the skin to actually heal itches and rashes. You know, itches and rashes won't last if you use Cord Aid first. New, improved, fantastic. Now out cleans every other all-purpose spray cleaner on tough, greasy dirt, in the kitchen or any place else. New, fantastic. More power for more places. Into the land of heartburn comes the first liquid antacid without that liquid antacid taste. A really good-tasting liquid that puts out heartburn's fire. New Tums liquid. It works. It really tastes good. Tuesday, The Pretenders on the CBS Summer Playhouse. Hi. Real Adventure. The Pretenders. Tuesday at 8. This has been Guiding Light. Jewelry by Monet. Julia Duffy with American Treasury. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Mother Goose. Or was there? The truth about this legend of fairy tales after this. Doctors measure back pain by how far you can bend. New Extra Strength Dones is made for back pain relief with an ingredient these pain relievers don't have. Dones makes back pain go away. New Extra Strength Dones, made for back pain relief. The stories we know today as Mother Goose tales, such as Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty, are actually European folk tales that go back centuries. In all likelihood, there was no real Mother Goose, but there was a father. In 1697, Frenchman Charles Perrault printed a collection of the tales and called it Histories or Tales of Past Times, told by Mother Goose with morals. It was the first time the name Mother Goose appeared in a book title. It's a fact in the Library of Congress. Read Mother Goose in your library. This is CBS. If you're